I know you're going to dig this. A super can of mom, Tisa Bryce. Tisa, are you there? Yes, I am. Hi. Hey, Tisa. And you're calling us from Colorado. Yep, Denver. Denver. What time is it out there? Like 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock? <laughs> 7 o'clock. It's like tomorrow out there. <laughs> uh, Tisa, can you tell our audience at home uh, basically your story from your version? Uh, yeah, well, uh, like you said, um, they were born very early, the twins, Dominic and Damaris. And um, after D uh, Damaris had his stroke, every year after that, there were new obstacles medically that he had to go through um, that got worse and worse. And um, finally, he started having his seizures. They started when he was about two or three. And uh, as they every year came, Past, excuse me, they uh, got stronger and stronger. And so now the doctors are like, let's just give them a lot of pharmaceuticals and, you know, we'll try to see if that'll tame it and get them under control and we'll just re go back in and reevaluate things. You know, the same old thing. And so they basically just make them comfortable. But we've seen the uh, segment on CNN about Charlotte and how she's. CBD was helping her and saving her life. Mm -hmm. So I got on that like right away. And um, it took a long time. Or, I'm sorry, that's the mayor. He hears me speaking. So. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you have immediate uh, results using CBD? Um, it took about a week, I guess. Um, when the Stanley Brothers brought a bottle to our house, it took about a week for us to see how... Um, the seizures were actually not as much as they were um, in a day. Like, uh, he was probably having about 10 plus in a day. And you can really tell the difference uh, from the seizures. Not only that, his attitude. Um, he, he gets really depressed. He starts to hit himself and others. And that start, he stopped doing that. He started getting more happy. Yay. And he started eating, you know, taking taste more because he didn't eat by mouth. Now he takes more taste. And um, he's just doing a lot different since, you know, we've been getting So he, he's actually, like, tasting food now uh, orally? Uh-huh, uh -huh, orally. And he, he used to do it, and he stopped after the seizures came through. And now that, you know, he's tried this oil, you know, I get the blender going, and he gets the puree, and he tastes. You know, it's not a big bowl, but probably a couple of teaspoons, and that's awesome compared to nothing. Right. And has he tried uh, chocolate chip ice cream? Because I know that works for me every time. Okay. Okay, no, but I will try that for, <laughs> for him, though. No. Seems to be the wonder <laughs> cure at my house. <laughs> so uh, how does this how does this affect uh, how does this affect uh, I'm sorry, Demarius is the one dancing out at the mall? Dominic. Dominic. Is, actually. So how does this uh -huh. affect Dominic's uh, he seems very adult, uh, mature, um, you know, like he's really got a grasp on life. Yeah, he's, he's very different than a lot of 12-year-olds. And um, it, since his brother goes through so much, it's almost like he can be the big brother or even sometimes the only child that could feel for him. And um, he, when both him and I went to the doctor and the doctor was telling us, this bad news and um we decided that yeah we're gonna go on and get the oil but how you know it's so much money so i said okay i'm gonna cook dinners i'm gonna braid hair i'm gonna do all this stuff and he was like well mom i can dance and i want to go out there and help my brother i can go downtown and dance i can go to school and dance whatever and um the way that it's affected him is really nice his thing is like i just don't want anybody to make me famous mom i just want my brother to dance next to me and um that makes me look up to him really big yeah that makes a lot of people look up to him uh yeah. and his his dancing skills are like when he's like hey i don't want to be famous that's because he could easily be famous that kid can <laughs> <good>. dance <laughs> i i didn't know you had that many joints in your body i saw just a little clip and i'm, I'm sitting there for a half an hour trying to do my shoulders uh, <laughs> pop and lock I was there. he was he was pop locking like everything was moving and I was like wow look at this kid go uh, and then the, the news did the news crew took notice I I fell upon you uh, through Joe Trevino Charlo Green um, our good friends of mine 
Um, but the mm-hmm. news had done a beautiful story on your family that is oh, a, a yeah. viral. The local news mm-hmm. Yeah, the, no, the local news here caught us at uh, the mall, and they did a story on the twins. And I was just really proud of the situation because ugh, how can I begin? <laughs> people don't understand um, that there are real people out there going through real life stuff. People aren't just begging and and doing all that um if they stop and look and and listen and understand they can see that that people are doing certain things for a reason and um it took us years to get help it took me years to get help for demirs for people to recognize us because they thought we were just typical and we're just out here begging and then when people when the news finally came out and did that story um, with the boys, it helped so much. It changed this whole family's life um, as far as Demaris is concerned because this house gets lit up. Demaris is the boss. When he wants it, he wants it now. And, <laughs> you know, you got to move fast. But, I mean, this, this whole thing has totally changed our lives and the dynamics of our household. It's been such a blessing for Charlotte to be in our lives, Joe, uh, the news, now you, Michael. It's like it's just been an overwhelming blessing. Now, Tisa, most people would think you're in Denver, and for those of us who have never been there, uh, and we thought that Denver is just you know just giving away free weed and CBDs, and it's the motherland right now for cannabis. Uh, but it's it's not actually like that, is it? No, not at all. No, um, there are there are some people who cut our story that um, tried to help, and we've tried some things, some things. Some oils worked, you know, some didn't. And um, a lot of people, like, I wish there were people out there just said, here, take it, here, take it. If there was, then we didn't have to go on the corner of the street holding up signs, you know. <laughs> but um, it's it's not like that here in Denver. You have to have money <laughs> to, to get what you want, especially that marijuana. Well, the good news is there's a big community out here. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, Tisa. We're going to come back. Uh, and we have a list of people that have actually done exactly that uh, and just said, here, take it. Uh, and we're going to find out what works. And a lot of them have offered to get you monthly regimens of whatever you need, cost free. Uh, so we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back and we'll tell you more. We're going to learn more about Tisa Bryce uh, and her amazing <laughs> boys. And uh, you're listening to Nug Life Radio. And it's on 89.1 KNSJ, 760-798-3127. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more from Tisa Bryce. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Nug Life Radio Show, a higher level of education for the cannabis counterculture community. I'm Medicinal Mike here with Benji Cooper yep. and Dennis Boyver, and we are, say hi, Dennis. Howdy. Howdy. Mm-hmm. And we are uh, live with Tisa Bryce. Tisa, you still there? I am. Welcome back to the show. Uh, thank you for waiting for our break and through our uh, new bumpers <laughs> and commercials. Uh, uh, Groove into that. We it, loved it. There we go. <laughs> See, well, there we go. Uh, and, and he's probably dancing better than I'll ever will uh, to that. <laughs> on that. Um, uh, if you're just tuning in right now, uh, we are speaking to Canna Mom Tisa Bryce, uh, who has twin boys, Demarius and Dominique. Uh, spelt fantastically. She took out all the vowels for the most part mm-hmm. and still made it have the same name. Um, and these boys are amazing. Uh, the one son, twins, 12 years old, suffering from cerebral palsy and epilepsy. And the other son is out every day dancing to raise money for his brother's CBD with his only aim to raise uh, raise his brother's health. Uh, Tisa, welcome back to the show. Um, we were talking before we left about Denver and how it's not... It's how come the community out there, because I know a lot of families, let's say, that are going to Denver, they're uplifting all their stuff because of their kids or, uh, you know, some family member that's in need of CBD oil, and they're moving over to Denver across the country, sometimes splitting families apart because they can't afford to move the whole family, uh, based on thinking that CBD is literally shooting out of the water fountains out there. Right, exactly. 
exactly. And then they wind up getting homeless and becoming refugees because it's not like that at all. Is are there a lot of like cannabis family refugees out there? Is that like a, a thing that you're starting to see now that legalization has taken a positive turn in Denver? Exactly. Um, there's a lot of people out here who come that's come um, here from different countries, like you said, everywhere. And um, a lot of them have become displaced. And thanks to there's a lot of different places and foundations who can help put them up. But a lot of foundations aren't, um, how can I say, aren't producing fast enough for the people that are coming in um, from all over. So it's, it's kind of rough <laughs> and for those who really need it. Well, oof, oof. Uh, what I do have, you have one of them, you have one of the stories that I have to go easy on or I'll be crying for the other 45 minutes of the show. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tisa, so there are some groups that have band together here. So I put out, I called my friends over at Speakeasy, uh, Lounge, right? Speakeasy mm -hmm. is out there in Los Angeles. And I said to my friends, I said, Hey, we have this family. And if you have any CBD, uh, can we get it to them? And they said, absolutely. What can we do? Uh, so they pledged right off the bat a uh, hundred of the cartridges of the CBD oil, and they I put it on Facebook. I was like, "Oh, cool! Look at this! Let's you know give them a shout out, speakeasy, rah rah." Well, all these other companies came in, uh, so I'm going to try and list them for you, Tisa, and then we got to figure out uh, if we're just going to drive it out there or how we're going to do it. Uh, I want to start out with Danny Dabs and Juanita. Uh, I don't know if she wants to. Want Juanita Pendergrass, I would say. Uh, we're all smokers here. Mm -hmm. uh, they're donating 119 grams of CBD RSO oil oh, for wow. you. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah, that's like a QP. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed <laughs> to measure CBD that's like a lot that. Of oil. Uh, as well as Speakeasy Lounge, oh. Achilleos uh, has a fibroblast cream that is, uh, we're assuming that at night uh, when you take him out of his chair, you have to rub the muscles in the joints. Yeah. So exactly. Ach Achilles has a cream uh, they're going to send that has uh, medicine in it, and it will make that a much uh, uh, more medicated experience. I don't know how to <laughs> how to word that. <laughs> so uh, a miracle cream, right? Uh, you also have California Sap that's going to be sending some uh, CBD. We have Couch Lock that is sending their high voltage. That's for you, Mom. Uh, that's like a hemp based product, that, but it's energy. So it's going to wake you up, and uh, this way you can dance with them. Um, oh, my God. Thank you so much. <laughs> Wild Earth Naturals is donating CBD water. Uh, CBD Living Water is also donating CBD water. Right on. Uh, Team Landon, uh, it's, they're doing something special for you. I know them personally. Uh, Timely Holistic Care has a bunch of CBD. My Club 420 uh also slacktivist and stoner rob slacktivist one of my favorite things in the world <laughs> is a thc syrup uh that's probably going to be more for mom uh can originals essential has an emu 420 essential oil that you rub into your mm -hmm. skin and it, it anti-inflammatory is fantastic amazing uh sly vegas photography is going to send a couple prints and if you know Sly Vegas, uh, it's art like you'll have some art some cool stuff to look at uh the minerva house uh, is also donating in, and it's a huge list. So, and, and oh, oh, yeah, huge list, <laughs> huge list. So that's what we have put together so far, uh, and we have a team here that will contact everybody and round uh, everything up for you and do all the work, and we're going to get it out to you as fast as possible. And we kind of got a lot of different things because who knows what's not going to work or what is going to work. Uh, and then we're going to try and do something nice uh, for Demarius as well. Oh, that's nice. Dominic, he was, he's actually sitting what, right next to me right now. I we're keep getting the names backwards, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. They're twins. Whatever. Uh, right, right. And the big D's at the front. Uh, yeah, so we're real proud of him. I tell him, you know, he, he's an inspiration to a lot mm -hmm. of people uh, way above his age bracket. So, uh Sometimes the world sucks, man, and people like you make us realize it's not that bad. So, yeah. And that's all I'm going to say. So let's <laughs> talk about Power Rangers now or something happy. <laughs> uh, so we're going to be seeing you. We're going to take a trip. 
Uh, I've never been to Denver. Uh, Benji Cooper, never been to Denver. I've been through it one time when I was a kid on vacation. So Den- Benji Cooper's never been to Denver. Yes. <laughs> and uh, Stoner Rob, who's another comic, he's going to come. And we're just going to do a little caravan, and uh, we're going to drive down there at the speed limit and avoid every cop on the way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I swear that powder is the CBD. <laughs> Look it up. Um, so, I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say, but thank you very much. You know, you guys probably I, don't. Thank you s- all very much. We are so overwhelmed. I mean, we're sitting here listening to this, and this is. What is, what is he so playing? Much. PlayStation, Xbox? What's, what's his world? I know he's probably not getting much video game time. No, he really is not, but he does have an Xbox, but it kind of busted. <laughs> busted. So right now, believe it or not, he's sitting back here reading his Bible. <laughs> <laughs> you just set that up for the show, didn't you? <laughs> I, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Like, Tony, you know they really make that is. in a comic book version. <laughs> I know. This, this is not, it's not real, is it? No, he's a really good kid. It, it's it's ridiculous. I tell him he's rotten every day because he's just, I'm blessed to, in the situation that we're in. He can be really bad. I can have, Life can be hard for me um, as a single mom um, because he can be out there being bad and smoking weed. <laughs> His, right. You know, a child his age just acting up. Playing Minecraft not. all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a good boy, so I thank, I thank God for him right now. <laughs> well, we, we all thank God for you guys. Again, I mean, you guys are inside the box, as they say, so you don't get to see uh, how your story inspires, and he doesn't get to see the emotion that he brings out uh, when we get to see him dance. So it's, true. it's just a mm-hmm. just a great thing, you know, a great thing. I, I don't even like talking because I don't get all weird, and, you know. But uh, it just a, truly an inspiration, truly an inspiration, you know. And I, I, uh, other kids should definitely model themselves uh, after him because he's setting a great example. He really is. <laughs> like I'm, I'm up here crying because I'm really proud of him. He's awesome. And what grade is he in? He's, he's in seventh. Oh man! Seventh grade. Yeah. He's so little, though. He's a short guy, as you've seen, but he's he's a big boy in heart. <laughs> Tell him he's 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 moving it like a twenty-two year old, though. <laughs> Tell him a little less on the hips. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tisa, thank you so much uh, for sharing your story with us on the show. Uh, I'm going to reach out to you guys tomorrow, uh, and I'm in contact with Joe. Joe's uh, going to kind of work as our handler on all this. Joe Trevino oh, out there. Wonderful. You'll hear from him next week, but uh, he's going to help us get all organized. And uh, we will be seeing you shortly. Oh, good. Well, we'll talk to you all soon. And did Joe talk to you all about everything that was going on down there, huh, um, in Colorado Springs? We're, we're starting to hear about it. Uh, what I would like to hear, though, is do you have a, and before I forget, you have a GoFundMe account? Oh, we do have a GoFundMe. It's um, <laughs> www.gofundme.com slash four, and it's F-O-R, and then a dash mercy, and mercy is spelled M-E-R-C-Y on the GoFundMe page. And if they're if they're writing to you, hashtag have mercy on Facebook, social media, Instagrams, and Twitters. Uh-huh. Hashtag have mercy, and it's hashtag h a v e m u r s y. Have mercy. So write to us, and thanks for the love and all of the support. Um, it's overwhelming, and, and we're certainly certainly blessed by it all. Tisa, thank you so much for being on the show with us. And uh, we I'm going to contact you personally tomorrow. And for all you listeners out there, we're going to follow up uh, over the next couple of weeks once we get our battle plan on how to get us from here to Denver uh, in my Hyundai. So. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it. Uh, oh, you got to wait for the wait. snow. Doesn't it only not snow in Denver for like 48 hours a year? <laughs> it's snowing tomorrow, Mike. <laughs> so not tomorrow then that was awesome uh, <laughs> don't come tomorrow Tisa thank you so much for being on the show uh, we appreciate you and we'll talk to you shortly okay you guys have a wonderful day thank you Tisa that's Canamon Tisa Bryce out there in Denver Colorado if you want to help that's GoFundMe um, have slash four dash mercy thank you uh, and hashtag have mercy m u r c y. If you're watching us on uh, Facebook, 
on the Facebook Live, Scott's camera just fell to the ground. Oh, so is that what fell? You're seeing the roof <laughs> of the studio. That's fantastic. That was Tisa Bryce. Amazing, amazing story. It's hard to keep it together. Mm. <laughs> hard to keep it together. Uh, her little boy is amazing. This this kid, what a great brother. Uh, and it just, I'm sure the family bond there is just stronger than anything. And now I feel like I should love my own family more. Life. 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 Life.